students. Bullies want you to harm yourself and others. Don't give them what they want. Listen up. I am a experienced lifetime survivor of bullies. That's right. My first bully encounter was in the first grade. No, I don't remember it. But my aunts, my moms, told me what occurred. They told me I almost caused a playground riot. One of my cousins joke about it to this day. Now, in the first grade, they wanted my lunch money. I fought back. They wanted my swing. I fought back. They don't like it when you fight back. Now, I've been bullied all my life with a few breaks here and there. I've been bullied by uh, just about every category of human being on this planet. Now, I call bullies devils. If you look up what devils are, they harass, they badger, they torture, so on and so forth. You call them what you want. Bullies are devils and demons. Now, on this website channel is a story called The Making of an Anti-Bully Person. It's a true video. You have to freeze frame it to read it. Not all my battles are on there, but just enough to show you it can be done. Now, if you're being bullied, more than likely, you're better than the bullies. That's how it works. You're better than they are, and they don't like that. Now, if you're a student on meds, it is my spiritual advice you get off the meds. Yeah, I know that's not my area. I'm not your parent. I'm not your mom and dad. But that's just my spiritual advice. You see, you are medicated so you can be bullied easier. So you can be pushed into harming yourself or others. There are other ways to fight bullies other than shooting a gun. Okay? Now, if you're being bullied and you go into a school and you shoot up four or five people, that's wrong, okay? Even if, if all these people were bullies, it's still wrong. Or if you were shooting at one person and accidentally shot the rest of them, it's wrong. Don't do that. Get your mind and think. Now, when you do a shoot a school shoot up, this is what really this is what you really get. The bullies still win. Even though you have shot them, they're dead, they still win. Because now your life is over. You go to jail, prison, and guess what? You get sexually abused. You get beaten. You get bullied by more bullies. Not just the bullies that's in the jail cell, but the bullies taking care of the jail or prison. Not all of them are bullies, but if you've done all my videos, some of them are. So even though you go to a school and you kill your bully, the bully still wins because your life is over. You don't want them to win. Now I say the term win because you are a game to them they have fun messing with you it's not fun to them when you push back it's not fun to them when you expose them now you cannot think with your mind on how to fight back nonviolently if you are on meds vitamins power drinks coca-colas anything Hemp oil, anything. Don't 
take nothing. Food, milk, water, orange juice is all you need. That's right. This is my spiritual advice because I am a survivor of a lifetime of bullies. I know what I'm talking about. You can't think on tactical maneuvers on how to fight your bullies and win if you're playing video games and watching TV. Your mind is like a one gig memory card. It only holds so much data. So you have to clear your plate completely clean. Your music, your rock videos, everything. Completely clean. Get your body completely clean. Pray. Think on how to outmaneuver your bullies. Really and truly, bullies are stupid. They are. They are very stupid. That's why you are medicated stupid. They can't get you as easy if you're of sound, straight mind. I know what I'm talking about. This video is free. Do you understand this? I am here to help you. So, if you're being bullied at school, do not take a gun. Do not think about a gun. Use your mind. Now, I'm going to tell you one, just one option I used back in the day when I was being bullied. I was a small girl. I had long black hair, and bullies hate you. It doesn't matter what you are. If you're transgender, if you're gay, if you're black, if you're white, they don't care. They just hate you. They are born to hate you, or they were born good and was turned into a bully. Now, the bullies I encountered were jealous because of my looks, what I had, or what I wouldn't do. They still are. Now, I would be bullied, and it's in my story, and it's true, not by just one person. Oh, no. It was gangs of people. But they were led by one person. One person would tell them, oh, you need to hate her because she did this or she did that. They lie, okay? I never bothered anybody. But when we would fight on the street, that's right, I was a street fighter, later, I would learn the bully, the main bully. I would learn everything about him. Everything. I knew when he went to the grocery store, which way he went, what he bought, so on and so forth. So one day, it was time. I met him in an alley down by the projects. I had a baseball bat because I was a girl. He was a muscular guy. I come up behind him, called him by name. He turned around, and I beat his butt. Now, after I got through beating his butt, I told him, if you ever bother me again, or any of your peoples bother me again, I will do this again, even if I have to come into your own home. I never said I would shoot him. No, I don't I don't do that. But I used a baseball bat. We were both underage, so what could they do? Right? It wasn't on school grounds. It wasn't after school. I didn't kill him. I didn't break any of his bones. But he knew I meant business. Now he gave me dirty looks after that. But when his gang would say, hey, man, let's go mess with her. They'd say, no, leave her alone. You see, that's how it works. You give one bully a good beat down, 90% of the time, his little sheep will leave you alone because they don't want it. Do you understand it? Now, I didn't go to jail. I'm still here. 
I used my mind because I was not medicated. Now, the days that I was medicated, mom gave me a vitamin pill and I took it. Or an aspirin for a headache. They got the upper hand. I learned quick not to take anything. Now, I'll, here's another story. True story. I was in a classroom. Then they had sliding windows. I was on the second floor. A big tall girl, supposed to be the bad, the bad, excuse my language, ass of the neighborhood, came in and just attacked me. They don't need a reason. They did it then. I'm 59 years old. They done it then. They do it now. Teacher wasn't in the room. It was before class. Yes, there were other students, but the other students were too scared. Me and her, this fault, rolled, punched, until I got tired of it going on so long. Yeah, she was bigger than me. So I took the fight over by the window. Yeah. I rolled over a desk, knee dropped her out the window, and she landed into a bush. No serious injuries, but she never bothered me again. Yeah, I got suspended, even though she attacked me. Didn't know her name. Never saw her before. They don't need a reason. They just hate you. I didn't run and tell the teachers. I didn't cry to the bus drivers because all that don't work. These are just two stories where I used my mind and my non-medicated body to defend myself. Now, again, Read the making of the anti-bully person. Again, you have to fight your own battles. If you shoot a bully and kill them, they still win. Because your life is over. Don't let them win. Unplug and undrug. That's my spiritual advice. I still fight bullies when they bully me. I don't care who they are or what color they are, what club they're in, what badge they have on. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but you still have to fight. Peace. And stand up for other people being bullied. Teach them. Teach them how to fight bullies. Teach them strategies. No, you don't do it in the classroom. You do it one-on-one. -on -one. Because bullies, when they learn your strategy, they change the game. Yep, it's kind of like a secret war. But it's not a secret. Peace.